weeks I've been struck by how important music and singing in particular have become during the pandemic. There is Yo Yo Ma's very popular internet offering songs of comfort, Italians singing and playing to one another from their balconies, and recently New Yorkers joining in a city-wide sing-along of New York, New York from their windows. Seems to be some necessary soul food right now. Hi, my name is Linda Ginrich, and I am the conductor of Master Chorus East Side, and this is the fourth in our Songs for the Soul series, Choral Music for These Trying Times. I once heard someone say that music heightens emotion, and I think that is particularly true of choral music. Just think about it. Take heartfelt words and music together, conveyed via an instrument made of flesh and blood, as singers, our bodies are our instruments. Then created by a community working together to make something of beauty, builds powerful emotional connections with one another and with our listeners. We just have to sing, don't we? And I think one of the best expressions of that is the hymn, How Can I Keep From Singing? Its origins are a little bit obscure, but it's most often attributed to a 19th century American minister named Robert Lowry. He was a self-taught musician who wrote several well-known hymns. Probably his best known is Shall We Gather at the River. But How Can I Keep From Singing did not become one of his best known hymns until about the middle of the 20th century when its text underwent some broadening, mostly by Pete Seeger, who secularized it for his activism and then made it popular as part of the folk song revival of the 1960s. There are interestingly several variations on the hymn and a number of choral arrangements out there, but my favorite is by Randall Stroop. He grew up on a ranch in New Mexico, and his family often participated in Sunday afternoon hymn sings in neighboring towns called singing conventions. This is a practice with deep roots in the early American shape note tradition. And it must have instilled a love of hymns in him because his arrangement is beautiful. MCE has performed it several times. We love it. His text mostly draws on Pete Seeger's lyrics, and they go in part like this. My life goes on in endless song above earth's lamentation. I hear the real though far off song that hails a new creation. No storm can shake my inmost calm while to that rock I'm clinging. While love is Lord of heaven and earth. How can I keep from singing? There are some really lovely um, expressive touches in his arrangement, but a couple of them stand out for me. One is the way he creates echoes and suggestions of rivers of endless song. The other is the way he keeps asking over and over again, how can I keep, how can I keep from singing? Many are lamenting deep losses right now and are trying to weather a very large and frightening storm. 
but many are showing great love to those in need. While love is here, how can we keep from singing? Here is a link to a fine performance of Stroop's arrangement. You'll find the link below also in the description box, as well as the complete text. May it keep you singing. The music has not stopped. We will sing again together and keep on singing. Till next time.